But this first picture uh, is a photograph I, I rarely ever show, and it's, um, it has quite special meaning, though, in terms of how my journey sort of started on Ellis Island. Uh, this, at the time when I was photographing, I wasn't even sure if I was going to use color or black and white. This is a pinhole uh, camera, and what you're going to see here is um, we were in what we found out was an infectious disease um, area, which is where measles, children's measles ward. And um, I had a very steadfast, very even-keeled assistant who um, was loading my film, and uh, I took a walk around the island like I'd normally do to sort of look and see pictures. And I, a great day on Ellis Island is three photographs, that's it. But uh, I came back in, and my assistant was just mumbling, and he was talking to himself, and I go, what the heck's wrong with you? He goes, oh, I'm a god. Oh my God, I, I just, the weirdest thing. I said, what happened? And he said, well, I'm on my knees and I'm loading this roll of film and I can feel someone staring at me. I go, what do you mean they were staring at me? He said, no, they were not staring down at me. They were staring at me. I said, so what happened? He said, well, I slowly lifted my head up and it was a little girl wearing a nightgown and she ran into that room over there. So this was the room she ran into. And um, what happened was I set up my camera and I said, I walked into the room initially, it was about 25 to 30 degrees colder, and I'm not a ghost guy, let's just start right there, but this was unlike anything I'd ever experienced. And we took an 8x10 picture, Polaroid, and this is that picture, and in the original you can actually see the shape, it's, it looks like a turn of the century, 1907 nightgown that the girls would wear, the little girls. And um, it was a very haunting, amazing experience 